my dream. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for following me. I just finished styling this beautiful Quercus Faginea from Spain. Beautiful character, beautiful deadwood. Uh, you see, I create a nice cascade and I want to show you all the process. So, let's see and uh, enjoy. Quercus Faginea is a beautiful uh, subspecies of Quercus that generally grows uh, in uh, Spain. This tree was collected uh, two years uh, ago by a friend and uh, for the last year I grew the tree to develop as much foliage as possible. This uh, type of Quercus has beautiful deadwood because they grow in a very harsh condition so most of the time some part of the tree die and because uh, it is a deciduous tree and the wood is not listing uh, long as a conifer. The wood start also rotting and create uh, beautiful movements uh, and cavity. This tree is the perfect example of uh, the beauty of this species and uh, we're gonna work uh, and try to get the best of the tree today during this styling. First uh, I start checking uh, on the roots. There is a big uh, top roots uh, when the tree was collected, but is that luckily. And uh, in the other side of the tree, there are many other little roots in the right side. So I move away some soil because I want to check uh, how is the root system. Also, another thing under the tree, the tree was sitting in top of a rock. So I expose a little bit that rock uh, to have another focus point I can use for my future design. You can see here is uh, where the roots start, uh, giving energy to the live line of the tree, going up uh, to the main green. We start uh, the work uh, by cleaning the old deadwood. One of the two big top roots that were cut when the tree was uh, collected is already dry. So we take away all the bark uh, to prepare that section to be worked. Because it's a very thick uh, session, we're gonna work on that one uh, with electrical carving tool. The wood is uh, still pretty strong. Quercus has a very compact wood, especially on this uh, part. Other gin, they just get uh, cleaned using the rudiban. And uh, after that, uh, it's only necessary to use uh, a concave cutter and uh, break uh, the fibers. We can't stretch the fibers uh, on the Quercus like we do on pines. The, the fibers are pretty compact, so we have basically to break uh, the fibers uh, when we use uh, hand uh, carving tools. So all these uh, pieces uh, that uh, were cut when the tree was collected and never grew back have to be transformed in gin, especially a long branch that was still alive uh, in nature but unfortunately never grew back uh, after the collection will be transformed uh, in a nice gin with uh, a very twisty movement that uh, also will become uh, a beautiful part uh, of uh, the future design. We have to remove the bark because otherwise uh, the wood uh, under the bark will start uh, rotting because uh, that wood uh, that still is protected by bark uh, can't basically breathe uh, so this can cause uh, rotting on the fibers and we can risk that in a long run uh, we're gonna lose uh, part of the dead wood uh, that are very beautiful and uh, useful for the future design of the tree so William uh, is taking care of cleaning 
all that part until the base of the gym. It's now time to start uh, working on that big gin. I start uh, using a heavy grinder and remove the wood inside and then uh, with another bit I can start uh, digging a line to act uh, as that part uh, was hollow as a little bit like the main uh, wood of the tree. I hollow up uh, all uh, the tip of this new gin because I want to act uh, that part uh, rot away and I only keep uh, the wood outside. I always like to match uh, electrical carving tool and hand tool. That's the reason why I do the final breaking with the concave cutter trying to give uh, a natural look uh, to the gin, removing some more pieces of wood just by breaking them so I don't have uh, marks uh, of carving tool but anyway I'm gonna go and finish the work uh, using a dremel and a little bit with a circular movement I can remove uh, some more dead wood and clean away part uh, of the gin uh, that still have uh, a little bit of the mark uh, of the bigger carving tools. Even if uh, is uh, already in middle of winter, the trees still have uh, leaves uh, on. This generally happen uh, when uh, the tree is uh, growing in a bonsai container or in a container. So we have uh, to defoliate the tree in order to prepare the ramification for wiring. So we don't rip the leaves uh, off uh, because we risk to break uh, and remove uh, buds uh, so we have uh, to use uh, scissors and remove uh, all the foliage. These trees uh, they are kind of uh, semi deciduous uh, if we protect them uh, during winter in a cold frame and especially this one uh, has a still uh, pretty beautiful green leaves uh, even if uh, as I said is already December. Thank you. 
Now that the dead woodwork is almost finished, we can evaluate some option for the new front and angle. So we imagine to create a, a Moyoji style with this uh, option A. And then uh, I go crazy and uh, I decide to tilt the tree down and create uh, the idea of an extreme uh, cascading style and I think these uh, put in evidence all the power of the deadwood and uh, the down movement of the trunk so we decide to go with this one and if we finish up a little bit the original deadwood with some more cleaning It's time uh, to protect uh, wood uh, with lime sulfur, so we start uh, spraying uh, all the dead wood uh, with water, so the fiber of the wood will open up, uh, and uh, we put uh, lime sulfur all over the dead wood uh, with a dilution of uh, one to five with water to get uh, and obtain a nice uh, gray color not like uh, the whiter color we get uh, on uh, junipers uh, where we use a dilution of one to three Wiring starts uh, by putting the main uh, wire in the stronger lines. I use aluminum wire because uh, I want to be a little bit more gentle with the deciduous tree. So I put the structural wire because I know the direction and uh, my student William will follow me on the work by wiring the smaller branches. For the first styling, I keep uh, all the branches I have. I will have a much better definition and pruning after the first flash in spring, but for the first styling, I prefer to use all the line that I have available and then see what is developing strong and what not to select uh, more branches. I don't want to make the tree weak uh, by cutting too much uh, on the first uh, styling. If you want to know more about wiring, you can click on the video now and you will have uh, a nice lesson on wiring with one of the videos in my YouTube channel.
is now time uh, to set uh, the branches uh, of the tree after the wiring. I start from the lower branches, uh, try to frame uh, the trunk line and build uh, the down movement uh, to the left. I move down the branches uh, in the direction they were wired, also to protect uh, the fibers of the wood uh, and uh, be able to give a nice and natural wavy movement at uh, the main lines. The idea is to build a kind of a double uh, apex. I use uh, the little uh, left branch and now I bend uh, the upper branch uh, to compress uh, towards the, the main trunk and build uh, a second apex uh, that uh, will also then uh, follow the movement to the left uh, that all the tree has. It's important to open up uh, all the branches uh, and uh, give a nice uh, space uh, to everyone uh, to develop. Now is a very basic uh, styling, uh, just using few lines. And then uh, during the next uh, season, the tree will be let uh, free to grow until uh, all uh, will be nice and stronger. And we can also build uh, more foliage. I do the last uh, checking and moving to open up and create nicer volumes, or at least the structure of the future volume of the tree. And here we are with the final touches, opening up a little bit more some of the apical branches and tightening the wire. And uh, the beautiful Kengai Quercus is finished. Very nice and dramatic tree with a lot of character with this uh, beautiful uh, dead wood and uh, the gentle foliage. You can see all around uh, the tree, the three-dimensionality, the dead wood impact uh, and all the nice foliage uh, ready to grow next spring. The idea is uh, to pot the tree future in a beautiful Eric Krisovensky bonsai container. Thank you so much for following this video. See you at the next. If you are interested on purchase the Rudiban, you can send me an email to this email address and I can send you all the detail. Thank you so much. Bonsai Dreams.